when I set about making a painting or a sculpture or whatever, I'm trying to outpicture for the world something inside myself that stirs me or bothers me or something that I'm not sure what it looks like. So I think about Kirk Farnado from the Museum of Modern Art who was my hero. He gave a, a commencement address at Stanford where he mentioned that art is at its most powerful when it sends the, art, the viewer away temporarily disoriented but newly attuned to their own experience. And so I too am trying to be newly attuned to the world around me. I'm trying to see it because that's how I process it. I don't write. I don't make music. I make a picture and that tells me something. And Susan Danton came to me with the idea about this collaborative uh, adventure with Rory Marcus's beautiful script. So we all were going to read someone else's script, uh, interaction of characters, etc., about Gaia, about saving Gaia. I was really excited because that goes into a deep thread of 25 years of working collaboratively in New Orleans and Seattle, etc., on the subject of saving the earth. That was that was our generation, saving the earth. So it was really exciting. I got very, very inspired by Rory's words and her characters and how she wove them together. together. Um, so anyway, from that came this painting that was all about how interactive the whole system is and the fires and the, um, the floods, the hurricanes, the tornadoes, whatever, they're all part of this bigger system that dictates how the earth is formed, what it looks like, deserts, oceans, whatever. So there, there once again, I'm using that blood red as a symbol for the energy of Mother Earth, the lifeblood of Mother Earth.